What's up, DFS players? We have tons of MLB games today. We also have the NHL Stanley Cup, and I'm going to be taking you through the best player props on prize picks. So again, the way that prize picks works is quite fascinating because essentially any two picks you select, you're just going to be getting plus 200 odds, 20 to win 60, which means 20 to win 40 in profit, plus your $20 stake back. So 20 to win 40 is just plus 200 odds. Any two picks you select, you're getting plus 200 odds. So what this essentially means is you need to be winning a third of your two player prop pick entries on prize picks to break even, right? So we can take that one step farther and essentially prize picks is giving you minus 137 implied odds on any player prop you include in a two pick entry. So in other words, long story short, if you wanna make money on prize picks, you have to be winning each of your player props over 57.74% of the time. We've gone through this in other videos, but to break even on prize picks, you need to be winning your player props 57.74% of the time. So if you're winning your props 60% of the time on prize picks, you're gonna be super profitable. If you're winning your props 55% of the time, you're gonna lose money. So again, what's critical on prize picks is you compare the lines on prize picks to those on the sports books, right? So for example, here, for Gabriel Landskog, over two and a half shots on goal, you know, the sports books are heavily juicing this. You can see Pinnacle Sportsbook, the sharpest bookmaker, they're pricing his over two and a half goals at minus 171, right? So all the sports books are juicing the over, which means when looking at prize picks, the over is the play we want to include, right? So I found this play just straight on the Odds Jam Positive Expected Value page, which will show you profitable DFS props as well as profitable, you know, sports bets. And here we can see with a 1.69% profit margin on the top row, Lightning Avs, you just look for the pick, you know, in bold with a circle around it. Landskog over two and a half shots on goal, minus 137 on prize picks, right? That's the implied price that prize picks is always going to be giving us in a two pick entry. So what we can do is we can take the market, right, on Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker, and put it into a zero vague odds calculator. So minus 171 plus 126. So they were pricing the over two and a half shots on goal at minus 171. They're pricing the under at plus 126. So essentially, you know, once you remove the juice from Pinnacle's market, so once you remove the juice from the sharpest bookmaker, you can see that this player prop should be winning 58.78 or 58.78, is that it? 58.78% of the time, which breaks, you know, it's higher than the break even win probability that we need on prize picks um, to be profitable. So this is the first really good player prop that you want to be including, you know, for your prize picks entry tonight, right? Minus 137, Landskog over two and a half shots on goal. Just looking for big line discrepancies versus the sports books. The sports books are more efficient betting markets and they imply, right, what they think the win probability for a player prop is through their odds. So the fact that Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker, is pricing the over all the way at minus 171 and giving you plus 126 on the under, we get a sense at this, um, you know, Landskog over two and a half shots on goal should be winning at a clip of roughly 58, 59%, right? So I just included that in this spreadsheet. We'll kind of go through the math behind this prize picks entry. But long story short, we're beating the break even win probability that we need to for our player props on prize picks. So this is a great pick to include straight from the odds jam positive EV page. Now, the second pick I have is Austin Slater over one and a half bases. So this Profit margin is insanely high, 5.11%. Top row, scroll along, look for the you know player prop bet or pick in bold with a circle around it. That's what we want to be on. So here we go to the Giants game, and again, this is exactly what we want as a sports better, right? Um, or a DFS player. The sports books are heavily juicing Slater over you know half a base to record at least one base. Just get a single, double, triple, whatever. <laughs> Just get on base once, and you can see here. You know, again, this is a great indication that we want to be going with Slater over half of a base. So to record one plus base um, on prize picks, right? Pinnacle pricing this minus 184 on the over, plus 139 on the under. So we're using the betting markets from very sharp, efficient betting markets, Pinnacle, right? To back out what we think the win probability for our pick is. 
So here we can see for Slater, this picks even better, this MLB prop. That's why the profit margin is higher, right? 5.11% versus the Landskog prop was 1.69%. So this is another great pick to include in your prize picks entry. It's hitting at a rate of 60.76%. So now I have two player props, right? I'm getting, and I staked, you know, you can see it right here. I already bet on this. Slater, over half of a total base. Landskog, over two and a half shots on goal. So that's what I got on for today. And we know the win probability for each of our picks. We're staking 250 to win 750 total, but that means 250 to get our 250 stake back plus 500 in profit. So just plus 200 odds, right? So we're going to be winning 500 in profit 35.7% of the time. The rest of the time, one minus our win probability, we're losing our stake of $250. So we can back out our EV and our profit margin, which is 7 0.1% on this prize picks entry, right? We know the win probabilities for each of our player props, just using real-time odds from Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker, to get an indication of the true win probability for our player prop. And then once we have that, you know, we can just multiply those two numbers together. These are two uncorrelated player prop bets. We have one MLB prop, one NHL prop. They're uncorrelated. So to get the win probability that both picks win, you just multiply these numbers together, which is right, 35, you know, 0.7%. So we're breaking, you know, we're higher than the break-even win probability on prize picks. So we're going to be profitable, right? This is a great Two pick player prop, um, two player prop pick entry to be on on prize picks for today. Two fifty to win five hundred eighteen dollars in EV, thirty five point seven percent win rate. So again, you know, sports books are very efficient betting markets. Some are more efficient than others. So you can use the lines on Pinnacle to find big discrepancies on prize picks, and this will give you an indication of the props you want to be on on prize picks. Because the more efficient betting markets, you know, when they have an over heavily, heavily juiced, that's because they think the over is much more likely to hit than the under is, right? If they were giving you minus 200, you know, on the over half of a total base, it would be even more likely to hit, right? Sportsbooks imply win probabilities through their odds. So we're using, you know, essentially, we're using the real time betting data um, in sportsbook in you know sports betting markets, we're using real-time sportsbook odds from very sharp, efficient bookmakers like Pinnacle to find line discrepancies on prize picks that we can take advantage of. So here are the two I'm on tonight. Slater, over half of a total base. Landskog, over two and a half shots on goal. Again, both picks just found on the Odds Jam Positive EV betting tool, which will show you, you know, DFS picks, sharp player prop bets, everything like that. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Any questions you have about prize picks? We lost our last one which was a little smaller. You know, we won the one before that I gave out. So we've been on a pretty good run overall in the MLB. Hopefully we can keep it going. NHL hasn't been bad for us in tennis as well. So just, you know, looking for line discrepancies has treated us very well on price picks. And un that's not surprising, right? Because it's just a strategy based in math using real time, you know, odds data from very sharp bookmakers to find discrepancies on price picks where we actually have the edge right? The last thing you would want to do is include Slater under half of the base in your prize picks entry at an implied price of minus 137, where, because you need to be winning 57.74% of the time, would you could just go over to a sports book and bet it at plus 140 odds, right? That would be a disaster, which is why you have to be comparing prize picks and the lines on prize picks to those on the sports books to find out where there is value as a DFS player. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, this prize picks tutorial. Any questions you have, let us know. Um, if you like these picks, let us know. Let us know if you're able to tail them and let's make some money.